Hello and welcome to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Um, and welcome to week number one of January 2022. <laughs> it's still kind of weird to say that. Um, we'll get used to it soon. But uh, this will be the first uh, week of our uh, 2022 collage weekly challenge or weekly collage challenge. What is it called? Weekly collage weekly assignments. So uh, this is uh, something that uh, Marguerite Miller um has put together and if you are interested sorry i'm just making sure that i'm centered in the camera here for you um so this is something that i did last year um and i wanted to continue doing this year for those of you who are subscribers and have been familiar with my channel welcome back <laughs> uh, so we're gonna keep doing these on mondays um like usual uh, so, uh, if you're new to this whole idea, it's really cool. Um, this will be a great time to get started if this is something that kind of piques your interest. Uh, she sells an actual physical planner, um, which is, um, going to have each of the 52 collage assignments in each page spread for you. And so it's set up so there's a uh, room to collage on the left side and then you've got your week at a glance on the right side. Um, she also has basically that planner for in that format in a digital kit, which is what I used last year. And then she's also got this version, which is basically just the weekly assignments um, as also a digital kit. So um, this is a kind of brief introduction to what what it is so basically each week you get uh an assignment uh list uh, of prompts there's five prompts and then a bonus so um what you are supposed to do is use each of the five prompts um or and if you want to use the bonus you can um i tend to use all of them every week um if i really can't uh or if one of them just isn't working for you. You can use the bonus in place of one of the five prompts if you'd like. Um, really, there's no rules. You do what you want. You do what makes you happy. <laughs> so um, she's got a few ideas here. Uh, use a glue or choose a glue book or somewhere you'd like to create your collage. I've created this uh, collage journal. Uh, so if you want to watch, oh, there's our prompt list for today. Um, if you want to watch me putting that together, it's going to be part of the 2022 collage weekly, um, playlist in my YouTube channel. I've got that linked down below in the description. I'll have that in each week. Uh, if you ever wanted to go back and watch any of the, the weeks, if you might've missed something. Um, and then Okay, so use a piece of scrap paper, scrap pattern paper in your collage or as a background if you like. Um, again, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to probably just keep this as my background. Um, after you create a collage with your five prompts, add a sticker, a rubber stamp, or anything else to embellish it if you'd like. This is not something that I've done typically, but who's to say I wouldn't do that? And then if you are on social media, like I am, Share your work using the hashtags. So that's why I have the hashtags in the title every week. So that's a quick little rundown of what, what we're going to do today. I've got a nice pocket here for all of my assignments. I won't be able to use this whole, this journal for the whole year. Um, so we'll use it for as long as we can. And then I'll make a new one after that. So this first page, I'm going to have to come up with something nice. <laughs> I'll have to do a collage or something here. Um, not sure what, but, uh, we'll see what I do. Something pretty. Uh, I like to use an entire spread for my, uh, collage assignments. So this will be our first one. So here's our prompts for today or for this week. So it's going to be something magical, time, uh, translucent paper, such as tracing paper, vellum, tissue paper, uh, furniture something triangular, and then bonus, a place. So something else I was thinking about after the fact was where am I going to be putting my prompts? <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is going to get annoying. I'm going to take these out until I'm done um, filling this in because it's like making a bump there. Um, 
so I think what I'll do like I did with my December daily is make some kind of a pocket and <laughs> so I'll be able to flip this in because um, I used scratch sheets of paper <laughs> I use the back sides of um, off prints um, for my prompts each week so all right so something magical um, the first thing I thought of was this digital kit by Sunday Fable um, I love the unicorn over here and then the little kind of lantern lights are kind of magical to me so I thought I would love to use one or both of those so we'll have that uh, let's put that there uh, time I printed off a few things <laughs> um, we'll also have if you'd like a recipe for a healthy peanut butter rice crispy treats <laughs> if you really want to know what that is let me know and I'll give you a link or something. Oh, well here. If you want to take a screenshot or several screenshots or put it in slow motion, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, I picked out two different um, quotes, time about time. Um, and then also thought this was a very, this is also from the Sunday Fable uh, digital kit. So firstly thought about using this one because that's kind of magical um, but I think I'm going to go for this other one instead okay translucent paper such as tracing paper vellum or tissue paper um, I just got a new notebook <laughs> from Erin Condren uh, it's a Star Wars one and guess what it came with this wrapped around it which is very thick heavy duty vellum um it's not very see-through let's see oh it'll work so we'll use this in our collage today uh furniture so guess what <laughs> i just went to a library book sale um over like the thursday before christmas um because they have them on thursdays and the first saturdays of the month and one of the books that I picked up was the Encyclopedia of Furniture. <laughs> so this is a pretty great book. Um, it's old. It's copyright 1938. It's got lots of great pictures, lots of great drawings, and definition. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was in there. So I pulled out a page um because i thought well for sure there's going to be clocks or you know like a grandfather clock and guess what there is <laughs> so we'll use at least this um maybe this whole strip we'll see we'll use some of this for in the collage something triangular this one was difficult i've got some options again from the library book sale i found this book lessons in lettering it's i haven't read through it but it looks like lettering for kind of advertisements and marketing um because they're um or no maybe not advertise so lettering for this kind of commercial use or like doing these line graphs or doing um, diagrams and stuff so um, there's a lot of this kind of thing where you're lettering on a different type of plane um, and things like that and so I found this uh, about composition and it's obviously in a triangle so I thought maybe we could use that um, I also pulled out this book which I've had I did not pay $12.79 for it <laughs> um, I don't remember where I got it maybe thrift books I don't remember but um, it's a different look and feel but I well first I noticed her and I thought well her hair is kind of in a triangle shape <laughs> but she's in the C and that doesn't really go very well with what we're doing here um, so I kept looking and then I came across this page 
which I really, really like this. Um, not sure it'll work. And then I kept going. There was another one, not far. Oh, well, there's this one, but I didn't really love that either. I had a whole lot of different things in my mind. Where did it go? Did I skip past it? There was one. Oh, maybe this. Did I forget? Oh, I don't remember seeing that, but I like that one. I swear there was another one in here. Not that. And it was by this artist. Hmm. Maybe it was before this one. Well, or maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I did have her in mind. Okay, well, I'm not going to use her. Okay. So, potentially this, potentially that, potentially this. <laughs> we'll see which one works. You know, I might as well just tear these out. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards using this, but I've got a lot of big pictures already happening. On, I don't know if that's going to work very well. Um, let's see. I like this too. Go ahead and take this whole page out too. Okay, so there's those. I don't know if those are gonna work at all, but we'll see. And then the bonus was a place. Pulled out another book. <laughs> this is Hardy Hardy Country by Gordon Benningfield. Benningfield. This one I did spend a little bit more money for, but I don't mind because it's really gorgeous. Um, there's just a lot of great pictures in here. Uh, so this one, uh, I believe Tanya at Taddy Treasure was talking about how she bought one and, or there's more books by this author. Um, so uh, anyway, she, she tipped me off on to this, but, um, there's a lot of great places in this book, huh? So English, you know, so I thought for sure we could find something in here, uh, to use. I have my finger on the towns chapter. Well, that would be an interesting place. I don't think that's quite right for this, uh, collage though, but that's interesting. The entrance porch to Puddle Town Church after working on the painting of the church from beside the rectory. I went into the churchyard. Interesting. Well, I don't know if I want to use that though. Puddle Town Church. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want more of a black and white image or something with color because Ooh, that's really interesting. Looking away from Tessa's cottage past Evershot Church. Well, I like both of those. A lot. Th this one is really intriguing. Okay, let's take this page out. I know, for those of you who don't like that kind of stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> okay, well, I've got a lot going on here. So, um, this color would go well at also. But this one is just so much more interesting. Okay, well... Let's see. We don't need necessarily all of this image. I know I need to get rid of this line down here. Anyway, so let's just do that. And this one too. Well, that didn't 
go very well. Let's try that again. Okay, let's try it on the actual desk here. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to just kind of look around. around the unicorn like that and so that will be our magical creature and then I want to take this side of the page okay so I've got my magical creature I think I want these to be on this page here and then I can I don't know, either put this down here or more likely put this down in this corner. And then um, got this. I've taken these two quotes out. So this one says, go easy today, time said irritably. I've got my hands full. And then life stretched lazily and shrugged. That was the deal. I hurt, you heal. So <laughs> I like that. And then this one also is another really good quote. It says, it is not too late. It is early and about to grow. Now is the time to do what you know you must and have feared to begin. So I thought this was a good one for the beginning of the year. So uh, two very different kinds of thoughts and feelings there, but um, both really good quotes, I thought. So, uh, okay, so let's see. I was thinking... What if we use, oh, that would be really cool. And it would span both sides. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. This would be good also. Could still do that, but yeah, I don't know. I like the other one better. I think the other one's gonna be more cool. So let me, take this out of its page. So let's lay this back out. This is thick paper. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I need to take off or mm, yeah, I need to take off about another inch of or half inch at least from the bottom. be better so then this will need to fold about right there well I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down since I know I want to use this one over here I won't have to fight with that anymore. <laughs> All right. And that's creased and ready to go. And then well what if I separated this at the fold line and put this half on this half of the page and this down here. I'm gonna do that. And then we'll just, they'll be a little bit disjointed that way, but then we can keep our unicorn as it is here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now, triangle. <laughs> the colors are just interesting and not right. This really is not right. I'm going to rule this one out right now. I like it, but it's just not right for this. Um, okay, I'm going to do this with my ruler here. Let's see. I don't need to worry about the rest of the page, so... We're going to have all kinds of triangles. <laughs> Hopefully make this a little bit even if I can. Oh boy, this isn't going to... I'm going to cut around this instead. I think that will be easier. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but <laughs> it'll work. So I think I'm going to try and use that. It's really not the right color at all, but I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. Um, and then my furniture. So... Oh, my gosh. Could I have done that any worse? <laughs> okay, ruler to the rescue. old paper so it's not super easy to tear cleanly oh my gosh <laughs> what a disaster okay well let's see if I can at least make this side a little bit nicer I don't know if I want to use all of the furniture or just the clock yet but at least we have the option now if we want okay Back to the middle here. So my thinking was we'd have that up there, our unicorn down here, this kind of down here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that other stuff. I don't want that. I just want the clock. Maybe like that. And this. I don't know what this means, if it means anything. I should probably know that. Uh, let's see. Triangle is not doing anything for me. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to try this instead. Well, this is at least the same color. So I'm thinking I'll turn this into a pocket for my. Um, 
for this. So I'll have to put something onto that. This can go there. This can go, I don't know, here. <laughs> Or maybe up here. I didn't really want to cover all of this because I think it's just really cool. So let's see. Let me think through this a little bit more. Maybe this goes. Maybe this moves over here a little bit more. And then this can come down this direction. No, I don't like that. Okay. Let me hide this behind. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to staple this onto my vellum. Okay, I'm glad I got rid of that other piece of the town. I don't think that that was necessary. Um, so let's try this and see how that looks. And then maybe this just kind of... It shouldn't be this difficult, you guys. <laughs> Why is this so hard for me? Okay, well, I don't mind that, actually. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, yeah, I think it just came together. Okay, I'm going to glue it, and we're not going to worry about it anymore. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that's all glued down, so I'm going to... I'm, I turn this into a pocket. I don't know if I want to. Well, 
we'll just keep a bit of it poking out and that'll be good so okay <laughs> I've got a few more pieces of furniture I don't think I'm gonna add them well guys I think I'm gonna call that one done and yeah <laughs> Hope you have fun, and I'm looking forward to the next week and all the fun stuff in between. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!